Hey everybody, hey, 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 it's me, um, I'm live, I'm gonna wait a minute for people to come on in, I got something to share and something I had to do, and I wanted to talk to you about, oh, why my hair always a mess, I brush it sometimes, about once or twice a month, or something like that, no, I'm playing, I don't, I brush it every day. So I'm going to wait till everybody gets here. If, when you walk in the room, please send a heart. Send something. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, the story time. And I had to get advice about something this morning. And I had to do something. But I wanted to tell my side of the story before it goes everywhere. Okay. Hello, everyone. I love you guys. And good morning. And I know it's early in... Jordan's already tired this morning. I've been working in my at my farm this morning, and I love you guys so much. And I came on this morning because something's been happening to me this past week, and I just wanted to share it. And and I love you too, baby. And I think you're amazing too. Um. Okay. This is what's been going on. And good morning, Pinky. This is what's been going on. And I want to share I wanted to share it with y'all and let y'all know in case it becomes a big deal and, and whatever. And in case this person leaks a video or whatever about me. Okay. I'm gonna just tell my side of this whole situation. It it has been a very okay. Let's just say this person is a he. Okay. Doesn't mean he, that this person is a he. I'm just going to say he's a he. All right. Well, I've been getting messages on my book face from a person for the last few days. And um, this person uh, has really been giving me, you know, creeper vibes, like um, all that kind of stuff. And, you know, that's what I'm... Um, I'm trying to not get him, you no, know, say too much. But my whole thing is this. I felt like he was, he was stalking me. You know what I'm saying? And I felt very uncomfortable with his messages. And I had to go to my sister-in-law this morning and get some advice on what I should do. Because like, you know, this dude was giving me phone numbers to call and I'm like I'm not doing that I'm happily married I, I I'm not I did block them I, I did that's why I'm addressing the issue I did block them uh my sister-in-law is um she gave me the I showed her the picture of this person and and she was like, I can understand. I see where you're coming from. But I wanted to get on here and address what was going on. I was feeling like he was crossing border boundaries and making me feel uncomfortable. And it was, yeah, it was nice messages, but you know how you get them vibes of feeling uncomfortable around certain people. And you just had to back off and go, okay, look now, something just isn't right. Good morning, NBN. You know, that's what I was getting. And I just, I, I, I just don't know. I didn't know how to take it because my whole thing is that I was trying to be understanding. Because I was like, well, maybe this person is a special needs person. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I was trying to give a benefit of a doubt, and that's what I was trying to do. That's why it took me so long to block this person. But I just don't understand. I feel bad for blocking this person, I really do. I feel terrible, you know what I'm saying. And I, and that's what I that's what my sister in law told me follow your gut. If you feel uncomfortable, you block. And then when she saw the messages and saw who this was, she was like, oh, yeah, I can completely understand. She said, you need to get that off of your stuff and go on with what you're doing. But I wanted to explain to you, in case there is some negative 
videos about me out there. This is what I was feeling. And I have, and anybody knows me, if you add me to your Facebook, I'm the nicest person and I love everybody. And But it's just, I cannot. And the bad thing about it is that what I don't understand is that like, you can ask my sister-in-law, she read the messages and I was so short, like, you too, good morning. Things like that. It was just short answers, quick, nothing more. That's what it was. And I was, it really had me nervous for days. It really did. That's why I like took, I did my little videos yesterday, but I didn't do a live because I was scared that they were going to be watching and it really made me uncomfortable. And they still could be watching. I don't care. But the truth is, I, I just didn't know what to do. Like, I don't want to offend nobody. And, you know, and my sister-in-law, she understands that I'm trying to build this family of 100,000 plus of loving individuals. And I wanted you to understand is that this is what I went through. And, and, and I'm okay with blocking individuals that make me feel uncomfortable, but at the same time, I feel bad. It is, it, it, does that make sense? I, I, I don't want to be like the mean person and come across as a mean person, but when I'm uncomfortable, how do I, how am I supposed to react in a position that, you know, with, that are striving to build a family, that is striving to be there? You know what I'm saying? You know, that's my whole thing is I, I, I had it took me a couple of days to just really sort out what was really going on. And my mind was stressed over this. And I, I literally, you know, if anybody don't know, I'm going to go put it on the table. In my 20s, I had a stalker. In my 20s, I had a stalker, and the worst feeling you can have is waking up in the morning and your stalker is right there at your house hiding behind a tree. That's the truth. I know. I've been there. And ever since then, I have been trying not to put myself back in that situation. If you know what I'm saying, I've been trying to tiptoe and do things where I don't feel like I have to be put back in that situation, but I felt so violated. And that's weird that he did nothing, this person did nothing wrong or said anything wrong. It was just, you know, it was just, uh, no, I don't have no rotten eggs, honey. I wish I did, but, you know. You know, it's just, I wanted y'all to know really what was going on. And, and, you know, in case there comes a video of me blocking an individual and maybe that person has a bad video saying just about me, but realistically, this is how I felt. You know, I felt unsafe. I felt insecure about what I was and all this came from the vibes this individual was giving I felt just odd like weirder than I normally do like I just felt uncomfortable and I know I'm overthinking it but I just I don't want anything bad to you know to come around to break up our beautiful family we are building and and I don't want to I'm worried about this individual, which I never said anything bad to this individual at all. I'm worried about if this person's going to post some type of video and say and call me names and which they can they're going to do that anyway. I don't care. But it's just I don't want our family to be shown in a bad light. You know what I'm saying? Or, or me being shown in a bad light because like people don't realize I'm not a I'm not a very Okay, I have I do draw boundaries. Let me say this. I do draw boundaries. And I try to give people time with me 
to show who they truly are. Okay, I do give a chance. But if I gave you a chance and I still think that you are an, a, a, a creeper or, or, you know, a child abuser or whatever, you're out of here. And that's the conclusion I had to come to. And that, I mean, I'm not saying that this person was. I'm just saying that's the vibes that I got. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I do care. I know I say I don't care, but I do. Christine, I, Miss Christine, I, I do. I, I care. I care too much sometimes, and I overthink way too often. And, you know, I, I have to protect myself and also protect my family that is on here. And I don't want to do anything that's going to tarnish my family. And, and that's what I was trying not to do, but I had to do it, you know. And it just really, I don't know where this person even come from. The bad thing about it, when they sent their phone number, they're like two hours away from me, which is really even more uncomfortable, you know what I'm saying? That's why I didn't give my phone number because the area code, code tells where I'm at, what town I live in, what, what little area I'm from. And that's why I didn't give my phone number. I just said, okay, thank you. Have a great day. You know, just being nice. And I just had to do what I had to do this morning. And I just don't want to tarnish this 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 family's reputation of what we're building and the direction we're going and i just want y'all to know what was really going on and this is what i was feeling and i do address issues on here and um so if you're doing your tiktok thing like we're doing just remember you're going to have these types of people and it's a wake me up for even myself you know, because I came on here thinking, you know, that'll never happen to me. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. That's why I always believe that kids should not be on these types of apps. Because this will happen. If it happens to my, me, it's going to happen to them. You know, it's going to happen. And, and that's... What I'm, I'm more worried about is if a 12-year-old's on here, this could easily happen to them. You know what I'm saying? And I just wanted to address the issue to bring attention to this situation. To bring attention to be on the lookout. Anybody that is a TikToker, be on the lookout for these types of people because when you start getting that vibe that it's okay, you can block. Yeah, it doesn't. You start feeling bad. I get it. I do too. I feel bad for having to do what I had to do, but I had to. You know what I'm saying? I had to. Like the stalkerish kind, Amy, not like, you know, like, y'all know, you get those stalker types. Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, I just I just worry about our little family and you know and, and my sister in law Jean is like, no, they know who you are. You're okay to be and draw and block who you want to. And I was like, Well, I'm still gonna address the issue because this is what's going on. And you know I'm gonna warn you and let you know this is what went on with me and this is going to happen eventually to whoever is trying to do the TikTok thing or do any type of live, it's going to happen. And I just want y'all to realize that, you know, yeah, I feel bad because I, I'm not sure if I really did the wrong thing. Maybe, you know, autistic child, children, I, I don't know what he is and I'm sorry, you know, this had to happen, but I felt like they were sucking my energy from me. And it just was not okay with me. But I brought this attention so y'all would know. Be careful doing what you love to do. Because there's always going to be 
that stalker slash whatever thing. I love you, Miss Christine. You have a blessed and wonderful day. I, I I know I did the I think no I did the right thing and you know um I just wished things could have been better you know what I'm saying and went a different route but it had to be done but that's all what I wanted to get on here and talk about you're gonna have this in anything you do it is overlooked and that's what I, I, I want to bring to attention that this is what happens this is what happens and what's sad is that TikTok, no offense to TikTok, I love this platform, I love TikTok, but people think we make money off of this. You want to know how much money I really made in the last seven months from TikTok? You want to know? $7.12. That's what I've made in seven months. Think about it. You're not going to get rich off of TikTok, honey. You is not going to get rich off TikTok, Facebook, nothing like that. That wasn't my goal to start with, to make money off of this. And that's my goal now. I don't care. If I could just get done what I want to do and wipe the word hate away from America, my job is done. My job is done. I love you guys. And I just wanted to bring that to your attention on what I went through until why and, and how it came about of me blocking this individual. It was never... They did anything wrong. It was just a personal feeling. I love you, Miss Sue. I love you, Jen. Uh, y'all keep sending the hearts. I love the hearts. And I love all these little avatar things y'all are sending. I don't know what they call them, but the little... Whoop, whoop. Yeah, I love them. I love you guys. And like I said, people, you don't you don't make no money on... Um, oh, I love that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Um, you don't make no money on here. I mean, realistically, you know, I know there's kids that, oh, I'm going to be a famous TikToker. Well, how are you going to live off $7.12 in seven months? I don't know where you shopping out to where you can live off $7.12, but you need to give me a heads up. Because I ain't figured that part out because I know a gallon of milk is more than that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know anybody that can survive off $7.12 in seven months. I mean, let's just be real. You know, and that's what I did. You know, I, I'm following my instinct and I, it just it just got off on me. Like the first time he said, hey, here's my phone number, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, back off just a little bit now. You enter in the wrong space. You know what I'm saying? You're entering the wrong space. You don't come at me like that. It's okay that you message me. God knows everybody on here messages me. And I love your messages. I love the fact that you reach out. I love it. But, you know, I just want everybody to know that for my personal safety, this is what had to happen. You know, and this is the dark side of TikTok. This is the dark side of Facebook Live. This is the dark side of YouTube. All these social media platforms, this is the dark side. This is what you're going to experience. And they don't pay enough to deal with this. And that's the truth. So children, stop trying to be famous TikTokers. Take your tail to college, become doctors, lawyers, politicians. Do something else with your life because this ain't where you're going to make no money. Just being honest. Do something with your life. Get off of these phones. Get off of these iPads, whatever y'all got. Stop trying to, oh, I want to be an influence. Why? We don't make no money at this. Seven months, $7.12. Now, I'm not fussing about it because I'm, I'm just making a point. You're not going to get rich doing this. You're not. So if that's your plan, you in the wrong field, honey. You in the wrong field. You need to move on. Get your education. Stay away from the, the uh, other stuff, the bad stuff. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And get an education. Go to college. Make something of yourself besides wanting to be an influence. Just because, you know, you got some famous influencers out there 
okay, fine. That just happened to happen. That just happened to happen. That doesn't mean it's going to happen to you. You got to have a backup plan. And that's the truth. That's what I want to get to the kids. Get off these social media lives. Get off of them. Move on. Get your education. Learn something. Get your college out the way. And then if you decide, hey, I want to do this, then you do it. Because you got something to fall back on it. You know what I'm saying? No, that's why I can preach about it. Because I was the idiot. I was the bullied one that could not do all that. I didn't have the money to go to college. Back then, you couldn't get grants. And Well, I take that back. I did go to college. Let me take that back. I went to college for descriptive writing. Let me say that. That's what I got into in my college courses. Okay? But... Okay, baby, I love you. Tattoo, you be careful and have a great day. Um, but you're not going to make any money off of this. You, there's no money to be made here. The social, the social media, they make all the money. You get pennies. That's what you get. Anyway, I just wanted to share what was going on. And this is what has happened. And this is the dark side of all of this. And I love you guys. And you remember... God loves you just the way you are. And just because you're not feeling good today, and just because your day is dark today, tomorrow there's going to be sunshine. Always remember that. I love you guys. And please continue to share my stuff. Please continue to share those uh, videos. Please consider to put my profiles out there. Put it all out there. I love you guys. Y'all continue to support me as I try to change the world. That's my goal. Let's change the world. Love you guys. Y'all have a great day.